Hey guys, what's up? This is Serge, and today we'll take a look at how to add this cool 4-app split screen effect in Final Cut Pro without having to download or install any plugins. Down in my timeline, I have four clips stacked on top of each other. To make a 4-up split screen of these clips, first thing we need to do is set the scale of our clips to take up exactly one quarter of the screen. Select your top clip, hold down the shift key, and click the bottom clip to select them all. Next, over in the inspector, in the transform parameters, set the scale all slider to 50%. This makes each clip exactly one quarter of the size of our frame. But since our clips are all in the same place, you can only see the top clip, so we need to move our clips to the corners of our frame. Select just the top clip in your timeline, click the transform button, and drag your clip over to the corner of your frame. Do the same to your other three clips, moving each to a different corner. The problem here, since there's no snapping guides, it's very hard to line them up perfect. If we zoom in on our viewer, as you can see, it's almost impossible to line them up perfect. You'll either have overlap or gaps between your clips. A more precise way of doing this is by manually entering the position values in the inspector, and we're going to have to do a little math here. I'll press Command Z a few times to move the clips back to the middle. Let's start with our top clip. Our project resolution is 1920 by 1080, and since our transform anchor point is in the middle of our clip, we have to change the position values to exactly a quarter of the resolution. To move this clip to the top left side of the screen, divide 1920 by 4, which gives you 480. We're moving this clip to the left, so enter negative 480 for the X value. Do the same for the Y value. Divide 1080 by 4, which gives you 270, and enter 270 for the position Y value. Our top clip is now perfectly placed in the top left corner. Let's move on to our next clip and place it in the top right corner. Select the second clip, and in the inspector, enter 480 for the position X value, and 270 for position Y. Do the same to the bottom two clips, entering positive values to move your clips to the right and to the top half of your screen, and negative values for left side and bottom half. Now, if we zoom in on our viewer, as you can see, the clips are perfectly lined up. But what if you want to change the framing of your clips? Since we use the transform tool to resize and reposition our clips, we can't use it to change the framing, or else we mess up everything we just accomplished. If you want to change the framing of one or more of your clips, you have to use the crop tool. Let's reframe the clip in the top right corner. Select the clip in your timeline, and from the transform drop down menu, select the crop tool and pick the crop option in the viewer. Click and drag any of the corners to resize your clip, and click anywhere inside the window to reposition your frame. When you click done, your reframe clip goes right back to the previous position. Next, let's take a look at how to animate this 4 up display. Place your playhead a few seconds into your timeline where you want the 4 up display to start. Select your top clip, go back to the transform tool, and click the keyframe button in the top left corner. Do this for every clip. Go back a few frames, and in the inspector, change the scale back to 100% and position values back to zero. Do this for every clip. Here's what we have so far. Let's add the same animation to the end of our clip, except this time, have a different clip come out on top. Select your clip you want to end up on top, place a playhead anywhere after the original animation, and press Command B to blade your clip. Click and drag the second part of this clip to the top of your timeline. Move your playhead to where you want the out animation to start, and select your top clip. Hit the transform button and add a keyframe. Repeat this for all your clips. Next, move the playhead ahead a few frames, change the scale back to 100% and bring the position values back to zero. Repeat this step on all your clips. Since the clip from the bottom right corner is now on top, this will be the clip that's visible after your out animation. Let your timeline render out, and this is the finished result. There is another way to achieve this 4-up split screen effect, and Mark and Steve from Ripple Training have a video that shows another way you can do this. 
They also show you how to save it as an effect preset for future use. I'll link the video in the description below. Make sure to go watch it and let them know who sent you in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting the like button and subscribing to my channel. New Final Cut Pro tutorials release every week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you back here next week. Thank <laughs> you.